Hi there, everybody. I am Dr. Sarah Wooten, and I'm so pleased to be here with you with All About Cats, bringing you veterinary health topics about how to help your cat stay happy, healthy, and out of my office, right? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the top five signs that your cat is bored, and more importantly, what to do about it. So let's get started. So why do we care that our cats are bored, right? Um, which is a valid question, right? And the thing that we need to understand about our feline companions is that boredom equals stress. And stress equals behavioral problems and even <clears throat> medical problems, right? We know that cats can get a stress cystitis, which is inflammation of the bladder, just like women do and they can get stress diarrhea, right? There's a lot of things that are going on. So the reason why we want to pay attention to whether they're bored or not is because we want them to stay healthy, right? And we want to avoid all these expensive veterinary bills. Remember that beautiful purring uh, kitty cat that's sitting on your lap descended from something that was wild and it was active and these animals moved a lot during the day and they did a lot of different things. They had a lot of different visual, um, uh, auditory, olfactory, uh, their senses were stimulated all the time and they got to exercise the essence of being a cat, right? So we bring these animals indoors, we have to give them things to do, otherwise there's going to be some signs that your cat's gonna be bored and it may be a little bit different than you thought. So let's get into those signs. The number one sign that your cat is bored is that they are overeating, right? So kibble is delicious, right? I mean, these cats love this food. And if they don't have anything else to do, that, and that cat food bowl is always full, well, they're gonna go over there and they're gonna eat. And they're gonna eat more than they need to. They're gonna turn off their satiety centers because when they eat, it real, uh, releases all of those feel-good hormones that they're looking for that they would get otherwise if they were getting enrichment and exercise, right? It's the same thing for us. We do the same thing. We know that we'll feel better with the dopamine that we get from a 15-minute run, but we also get dopamine and serotonin from the Pringles, right? Same things with the cats. So if your cat is overeating, and maybe, you know, draining their food bowl really quick, or maybe they are begging for food at different times of day, could be that they're bored. Also, the other thing to realize with the overeating is that it contributes to obesity, which we know is a hormonal and inflammatory condition. So we really wanna make sure that we're paying attention to how many calories our cats are eating. The number two sign that your cat could be bored is over grooming. So uh, again, remember that boredom equals stress. And sometimes when cats are stressed, they will pull their hair out. Yes, they'll especially do it on their belly, um, sometimes on their necks, sometimes on the outside of their back legs, but a lot of times on their belly. And what you'll notice is just they're naked down there, right? And so the reason they do this is because again, somehow it releases feel-good chemicals in their brain. And if you remember that a bored cat is a stressed cat, then it would make sense that they would try and seek those feel-good, those good feels someplace else. Now, cats can also pull their hair out when they have uh, allergies, when they have external parasites, um, when they have pain. So there's a lot of different things. So you, if your cat is pulling their hair out, um, they could be bored, but it could also be a medical condition, so make sure to get a checkout from your local veterinarian. Okay, the, the number three sign that your cat could be bored is increased aggression towards other pets. So if your n normal happy-go-lucky cat is, you know, just hanging out not doing anything, and you do notice that maybe they're swiping at the other cats more often, or maybe they're chasing the other cats, or maybe they're stalking your, your son or daughter's gerbil or something like that. That cat's looking for something to do. That cat's looking for trouble, basically. And so if you're noticed increased aggression from your cat towards other pets in the household, could be boredom is the problem. 
The number four sign that your cat could be bored and is trying to tell you in the nicest of ways is urination or defecation outside the litter box. In your bathtub, on the bath mat, on your laundry, on your blanket, on your bed, in the corner, you, you know, they can go anywhere except for their litter box. So people used to think that the cat was being spiteful. They were mad about something. And I mean, if you think about it in a roundabout way, they are, they're, they're mad because they're bored, right? And remember, a bored cat is a stressed cat. And a stressed cat is going to be more likely to have problems with interstitial cystitis, which is inflammation of the bladder wall, which causes urinary pain. And sometimes that can cause them to not go where they need to go. Also, sometimes they can just stop using it because they're so bored, right? So if your cat is going outside the litter box, could be boredom, could be that enrichment is your solution, also could be an underlying medical condition. So once again, if that's going on, get your cat checked out. The number five sign that your cat is bored is destructive behaviors. So I'm talking things like tearing up your, your furniture, scratching the heck out of everything. No matter what you do, they're still going after it. They're going after your curtains. They're going after your pant legs. They're going after your dust ruffles. They're going after it, right? So remember, this cat's bored and it's normal behavior for cats to scratch. So you put normal behavior plus boredom, your stuff is gonna be destroyed, right? So that is the number five sign that your cat could be bored. So now that we know some of the more common signs that cats are bored, let's talk about what to do with it, right? Because you brought this indoor hunter into your house, now you have to create an environment that is going to keep your cat from getting bored, which is going to keep your cat from being stressed, which is going to keep the aggression down, keep their toileting habits normal, uh, keep them from pulling out their hair, and keep them from destroying your stuff, right? Lots of whys, we have lots of whys. So let's talk about a couple of common things that you can do. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is just play sessions with your cat. We think about exercising our dog every single day, but sometimes we don't think about exercising our cats. They need as much exercise as dogs do, right? So I recommend short play sessions and multiple times a day, right? So not just one hour long because your cat's probably gonna get bored of you. Um, I recommend 15 minutes, three to four times a day or more if you want. And these are play sessions where you could um, have them chase a feathered fishing pole or play with them with a toy or you know do some training or lots of different things that you can do. But I recommend doing that regularly every single day. I also recommend doing those right before, um, maybe an hour before they go to bed. You guys all go to bed because a tired cat is a happy cat. The next thing that you could do is you could do uh, interactive food experiences. So uh, food puzzles are a wonderful way for your cat to be able to do some problem solving, have some fun, and get rewarded with a treat at the end. The other nice thing about food puzzles, if you pre-measure out the amount that you're going to feed, you can help prevent overeating because it will slow your cat down. It'll take them longer to get each kibble. They're gonna get so much satisfaction out of getting each kibble out of these things. And you're gonna help them like be less obese, less overweight, which comes with its own whole host of problems. So there are so many benefits to using food puzzles for indoor cats keeping them occupied, keeping them fit and trim, keeping them healthy longer and out of my veterinary hospital and lowering your vet bills. Isn't that great, right? So that's all I have for this video on how to keep your cat entertained, keep them not bored, why it's important to do so and all the benefits that you can experience. Plus it's fun to do these things with your cat. That's where you got a cat, right? So thank you so much for watching. I will be back more with other videos. I have lots of videos out there on different health related topics for your cat. So check them out. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if there's other topics you'd like me to cover. Things like that. Thank you so much for watching. I am Dr. Sarah Wooten and I will see you again soon.